one of the most important areas for a swimmer to work on that's often neglected is the back of the shoulder. Right? This limits a lot of times your reach in every stroke that you do. And if it's tight right here, it's also going to cause your shoulder to potentially track a little forward and you're going to get some anterior shoulder pain. Right? A lot of swimmers have this anterior shoulder pain. If we're not careful, we miss this. So I'm going to show you today how to kind of work on this area that you want to do before practice after practice, just a little bit to loosen this up, all right? So Drew's gonna turn around, we're gonna take a lacrosse ball, that's exact, not a tennis ball, but a lacrosse ball is probably perfect, all right? So he's gonna turn around, we're gonna do his right shoulder here. So Drew, go ahead and turn all the way around. All right, he's gonna put it right in the back of his shoulder here, all right? And then we're gonna have him lift his arm, so he's at 90 degrees. The opposite hand is gonna be underneath so that your hand can relax, or arm can relax. Right? And then what we're going to do is he's just going to roll and turn his body so he's getting all this posterior deltoid right, into around his scapular muscles, right, the infraspinatus, which is usually tight in a lot of swimmers, but also really it's getting strained in a lot of swimmers. And so this is an area, any area that's going to be a little tender is too tight. So how long are we going to do this? for about three minutes, just kind of moving it around. All right, now, if we'll come around from the front, all right, then what we're gonna ask him to do is after he's gotten better at that, all right, and come right here so you can see, all right, we're gonna say, so he's gonna stay still. Now he's gonna take his arm and just reach towards his opposite shoulder. All right, so he's gonna basically with the lacrosse ball, pin a spot on the back of his shoulder, and now he's gonna cross his body. All right, again, the more we can get this to release in the back of the shoulder, the more flexibility he's going to have there, which again, as that's more flexible, then that's going to increase his overhead reach, which is what everyone's trying to do, is maximizing their length when they're in the water. So about three, three minutes of this before and after you swim will help a lot. All right, thanks.